Gross main man, Lucky Lantern, for more. <clears throat> Gruel Ponza action. That's right. I'm back for some more. Hope you guys are excited for that. Apologize for the late, uh, the the late start for the uh, Twitch guys. Uh, Magic the Gathering online was not working. I thought I was gonna have to cancel, but it looked like it's working now, so that's good. It kept giving me errors. Like it would load, and then it'd be like I'd sit here for a little bit, and then it would be like all of a sudden a red thing would come up and be like a big red X and would be like, we're sorry, currently struggling here. And it's like, you have to close it and then restart. And it did, did twice. Well, it didn't happen again. Um, but anyways, like I said, my name is Lance. More importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTGA, and Twitter. So if you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. And you can always join me on a little flock of birdies on Twitter. That'd be awesome. As you can tell, I enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. I play Magic the Gathering. I play Modern. And when I play Modern, I play one of four decks somewhat coherently. Those four decks currently are Semi Boomer Jun, Grixis Shadow, Abzan, and when you see screen right now, Group Hans and Mid Range. Group Hans and Mid Range is my favorite deck. It's the deck you'll see me playing most often. It's the deck that I've had the most success with, both in paper and in digital. So, uh, yeah, that's why I enjoy playing it. Um, yesterday I got assaulted by white decks, but we'll talk about that later. Let's take a look at the weather here. <clears throat> I know people like seeing it. It is a downpour out there, folks. Weather or rain, conditions are rain with a temperature of 50 degrees. The wind is blowing from the southeast at 6 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 91%. Yeah, it is. It's a downpour out there. Uh, you know, I had a bunch of snow, and the lowlands, the snow all melted. And, of course, it's still melting up here. Um, and we got, like, in one day, we got, like, three inches of rain. Plus all the snow melting just flooded the shit out of people in the lowlands. But luckily, you know, I live up in the highlands, so I'm like, what's going on down there? Oh, and then, you know, it was reversed about a week or two earlier where they're like, what's going on up there? And I'm like, I'm, I'm getting destroyed by snow. You know, it's kind of funny how that works. It's like, don't laugh at me now. You'll be getting it soon. This snow is coming to you. Maybe not in snow form, but it's coming. And I'm like, what? It's like, get, get the floodgates ready. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, so we are still at, <clears throat> excuse me, 14 followers on... Hang on here. I got to... All right, I had a tickle. Uh, we are still at 14 followers on Twitter. We are still at 205 followers on Twitch. We are still at 339 subscribers on YouTube. So shout us all 14 followers on Twitter. Shout us all 205 followers on Twitch. Shout us all 339 subscribers on YouTube. And, of course, a massive shout out to all three of my Twitch subscribers who give me a little bit of their hard-earned money. I really appreciate it. Go way above me on the Call of Duty. And uh, it's just amazing that anybody does that. Thank you guys so much for watching me, whether live or on demand on YouTube. I don't think anyone else says that. It shows my age when I say on demand. Like, who says that anymore, right? Um, so, yeah, anyways, let's get ready for some more um, Magic the Gathering Modern MTGO. <laughs> um, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yesterday it was just nothing but white decks in a row. Um... We'll see if that keeps happening. Man, I, I kept getting destroyed by Prismatic Ending. Um, I did open up a box of Mod Horizons 2 last night with my wife, and it was a really good box. Um, we pulled a Ragavan, an Endurance, a Foil Retro Frame Yavamaya Cradle of Growth, I think it's called. Or Yavamaya Coast, is it? Yeah, Coast, not Cradle of Growth. Jesus. Um... Got an Arid Mason, a Misty Rainforest, a Douthy Voidwalker, a Noble Hierarch, two Prismatic Endings, two Dragon Rage Chandlers. Um, you know, good stuff. Very good box. Um, we did get a Foil Mythic, but it was a really bad one. It was Dakon, I think his name is, the Planeswalker. No one cares about. But anyways, nobody cares about me talking about this. Let's get on in. Some Magic the Gathering goodness with Ponza. Hope you're all having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon, or wherever you're watching this. I hope you're having a good day wherever you're watching this, whatever time you're watching it. Um, you know, I, I hope you did. Um, I got a bundle, and the best card you got was a green-white sword. That's still not bad, green-white sword. That's got to be going for some money. How you doing, Manure Bug? Glad you're here. Um, my wife bought me one collector's pack of Crimson Vow and one collector's pack of Modern Horizons 2 uh, for Christmas. And the collector's pack of Modern Horizons 2 was so bad. 
it didn't have one notable card. It didn't have one card that I see sees any play. It didn't have an artifact land. Not one. It was disturbing. Like it was like the worst pack you could ever ask for. Excuse me there, I had to sneeze. Um, man. Man, I apologize, guys. I keep sneezing. That can't be a good sign, right? All right. I think I'm done sneezing, though. I think. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm going to keep this before we get this. I had a, a beverage I got to get to today. Uh, it's a good one. I'm really excited. We're out of the gingerbread ones. We're done with those. Those weren't very popular with the fans. That's fine. I thought they were still good. Um, this is a keepable hand. It's a little bit weird, but it, it's still keepable, obviously. Uh, but today is a good old friend of mine. It's one I always look forward to and one I'm always giddy to open. It is a 20-ounce bottle of Mountain Dew Code Red. That's right. A 20-ounce bottle. I deserve this. I'm really excited. Let me just crack this, this thing open right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Man, that is so good. Code Red with a heart. You know it. So good. What is this prestige for? I don't know. Serum visions that can only mean shenanigans coming, guys. At least it's two at the bottom. It can only be shenanigans in this day and age with the serum visions. That's got to be like. I don't know, um, maybe, uh, what is the card I'm thinking of? Well, not anymore. Oh, it must be damn old, uh, Art Like Phoenix or something? I don't know, maybe this is, uh... Maybe this is a uh, Murktide. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it'd be some sort of Murktide here. They left whatever was on top. May have to devour with scavenging ooze here. Looks like I'm not even going to get a chance. Comes out as a 7-7. Seven, seven. Alrighty, good start to this league. Wow. Can actually kill it. Um, yeah, I think we exile... Exile Blood Moon. Blood Moon looks pretty bad here. And then bolt it. Right? I, mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe Blood Moon's still good. Have to cut him off double blue. Can I do that? Yes, I have four mana. So then I'd have to exile the Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, that's still okay. Maybe it's not. Regardless, I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I think I just, like, 
getting rid of Blood Moon here. Bolt. I'm going to eat right now anyways. Get it out of here. Look at that. Top deck fury to save my life. Got to keep devouring these uh, instants and sorceries. So he's actually no, he'll he'll still have only have okay. Uh, so we stomp there. Uh, devour. Swing for four. Yes. Slow and steady here. Try to just win through ooze. Just another different Merc Tide coming. Oh, yeah. What is this one? It's a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. We can handle that for now. All right, let's eat here. Swing for six. I like it, they take it all. I'm totally down with that. Cast Bone Crusher. They do Counter Spell. Well, I'm glad Bone Crusher took a Counter Spell there. Pillars doesn't do me a lot of good. Uh, yeah, swing in for... Uh, swing in with everything here. I mean, there's no reason not to. Yep. They have a bolt here. Okay, I uh, don't want to eat anything out of their grave. <clears throat> we have another bolt here. Fuck. Ow. 
Ah. Yeah, I guess we just, uh, I mean, this thing, gonna, I can get it up to a, a 8 8 and it'll still die, right? All right. Now we're just waiting to see if I can land this last point of damage. Or get to four. I mean, I, I know I missed a point somewhere. He put one on top, one on bottom. Oh, my God. Just can't let that happen. All right, that was a good draw. Okay, scavenging ooze, <laughs> getting it done. Man, that was quite the game for the ooze. All right, pillage out, really bad. Uh, endurance in, really good. Uh, relics in, also good. Uh, probably take out two Blood Moon. Two Blood Moon out. And we're ready to go. That Fury was huge. That that saved me. I was going to die. Oh, I brought Reaver and Plummet. What am I doing? That's why it's here. Well, I guess we're not running Plummet. Uh, I have to mulligan this anyways. Uh, keep this. Forest on bottom. Yep. Now, you know, the, the best thing to do here is to actually bolt them during their turn. I know they may have counter spell and everything. That's always the risk. <coughs> but it's the risk you got to take. And it looks like they're not even going to try that. Maybe they got spell pierce. I probably should have got a basic mountain there. They do not. Take a look at what I'm drawing. They know that I'm drawing a Clothis. That's really good. Uh, probably just want to stomp on this right now. I think so. They did put one card on top. All right, let's see what that card on top is. Different Dragon Rage Chandler. It has Delirium. Don't have enough man to do everything here. I could put Bone Crusher Giant as a blocker. Uh, 
Um, or I could leave Bolt up. I think I like putting Bone Crusher out as a blocker. Make him Bolt the Bone Crusher. Well, he doesn't have it yet. Steam vents. It's not good. He must have got a Merc tied. Ah, there it is. There it be. Takes a fury. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, we, we just gotta figure something out here. Um. I think I like going Arbor Elf and then try to bolt this. I can block bolt if possible. Put it on top. It's most likely a Murktide. Yeah, pretty much. Luke, how you doing, man? Glad you're here. Sees that I draw this forest. That puts me up to five mana. It's not going to be enough here. I'm sure it's Murktide coming now. Okay, I don't mind him taking that. Well, I guess maybe I do. Took him long enough to find fucking uh, Murktide. It's amazing I never got as much removal as I got. It was still was not enough to deal with this. To deal with this card. Uh... not half bad. All right, he can swing over me. Yeah, pretty much. I I can kill it sometimes if I get fury and whatever. Um, which how I killed the game one. But yeah, I, I, I didn't even bring in Plummet. I completely forgot. But luckily, this is only game two. So he's going to swing over. Right? This is only... Yeah, this is only... Uh, a total of seven damage. And that was a horrible ass draw to lose the game. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Matter that's another, um, you know, Bloodbraid Elf or something. Yeah, nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. I just can't believe how much removal I have, and it still is not enough. I just got, again, just there's just too much value sometimes against me. So Blood Moon needs to come out. It's super bad. And bring the plummets in. 
Again, I found no help there. No Endurance, no Relic Progenitus. I bring all these sideboard cards in, and I literally hardly ever see them. It's like I'm playing without a sideboard a lot of times. Sure. Pretty much, yeah, it was like the only way to win. Let's see if we can get this uh, Arbor Elf to survive. Doesn't look like it. Don't look good. No, fuck no. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. I fetch for four straw fours. It's the way things go. Hopefully I have a turn three Clothis. Oh, yeah, for sure. Got to bolt that. Wow, yeah, to consider. Fuck. That's what I'm talking about. People always have the exact cards they need at constant amounts of, of, of time. Probably another land here. What the fuck? <coughs> what the fuck is that? I've only drawn land so far. I, I, I haven't drawn something unland-like. There's something unland like. So they have four card types in here. I guess we need to eat the Mishra's Bobble. Yeah, it is going to be a big Merc Tide. Um, No, that's a loss there. Bolt could have done one more damage, but, you know, we do what we can. All right. So let's get ready for Merc Tide. Gonna be one, two, three, four, a seven, seven Merc Tide. Looks about right. Maybe more. Could be an 8-8. Eight, eight. Need one more in there. I hate how this stays here. Like, I, I don't know why they've never done anything with it. All right. I mean, need help. Another land. We love seeing more lands. They have double bolt. Don't tell me they have double fucking bolt here. Okay. Like, holy shit. What the fuck? All right. Yes. Cast this. Plummet. Blood Braid. Alright, I mean, the race is on. Steam Vince is his exiled card. Wow, he shocks there. This is an extreme show of strength here. Another different Merc type, perhaps? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes! Ha, <laughs> fuck. Let's 
Scavenging ooze. You're going to show up the wrong time, buddy. And I can't exile theirs, so i got to exile mine. Um... I guess lightning bolt. <sighs> okay. Um. God. No. Wait. This might work. One, two, three, four. Okay. We might be able to get there. Come on, blood braid. Arbor Elf! Yay! This block here, it's bad. What the fuck, deck? You fucking suck. Unreasonably bad. Yeah, they have to block here. They're going to block there. Why does the deck fucking hate me so fucking much? It is tough. Well, it, you know why it's tough, Manure Butt? Because I never got one sideboard card. You bring in fucking seven, and you see fucking zero. That's what makes games tough. It's a joke. Absolute fucking joke. Seven cards brought in from the sideboard. Zero scene. After sideboard. Not one. Where are they at? There's one. Plummet. Finally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten draw steps away from finding one sideboard card. Bring it in seven. Nobody in the world has as bad luck as me. I don't even know why I go and play at casinos. It's just an instant loss of money. I should learn from playing Magic that it's impossible for me to enjoy games of chance. Yeah, I, I don't understand how that's possible. I saw zero sideboard cards. And I won game one. No sideboards. Explain that. You know, no sideboards in play, and I managed to win game one. Just stupid. It's just unreasonably stupid. It doesn't make any fucking sense. So it do just doesn't. Nearly one sixth of the deck had become sideboard cards, and could not find one. Of insanity. Absolute insanity. In two games. And they weren't over in like turn three. I mean, those took a while to get through. I just don't know why God hates me so much when I play Magic. Just I, I, Why do I have to work so hard just to win one fucking match? Uh... This is Gantha. This is... Probably, what, Tron? I think I'm going to try for something better. I found something better. Put the mountain on the bottom. Still need help. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Don't celebrate yet, folks. One plus one plus one equals seven. That's correct. See that Sylvan scrying? <laughs> Again, don't celebrate yet. I want to hear no hooplon. Because this battle has just begun. I'm going to save myself one life or two life here. I'm going to get that basic mountain I put on the bottom. Uh, 
All right. Let's hope they don't have any payoff cards for a while. I put Clothis on the field at least, and then start getting Pyromancers and Blood Braids, maybe. I just need one more land for Blood Braid next turn. For a second, that was a main deck nature's claim. I was like, dude. You do. Some way he's got to realize that really God hates you if that's happening. What was that? Oh, he got a chromatic star. Okay. He did not play the power plant. He's got another ancient stirrings. Yes. Why wouldn't he? Probably looking for oblivion stone. Find another chromatic star. Okay. I mean, that's still kind of rough because he keeps digging through his deck. The Pillage. Well, that's going to come in helpful later, I hope. Probably Pillage the Urza's Tower next turn. Oblivion Stone? It's Oblivion Stone 4? I, I don't remember. I can never remember Oblivion Stone. It's got so many fucking effects on it. What is happening here? There it is. Oh, Stone 3. Well, I think we know what we're doing here. Uh, I can do one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, I think I just like eating the land here, blowing up Oblivion Stone. Not eating the land. I mean eating. Yeah, just blow up Oblivion Stone and swing for one. It's pretty sad, but that's what we gotta do. Uh, doesn't matter. Ancient Stirrings will work. For one, and hopefully, next turn, cast a blood rate elf. Definitely uh, casting a uh, Blood Raid Elf next turn. What's he looking for here? A Warm Coal Engine? Maybe a Snaring Bridge? Maybe Pipping Needle? Maybe the damn liquid metal coating. Could be a lot of things. He's definitely deep in the tank about it. There we go, liquid metal coating. Okay. All right. A second Blood Moon. I don't think that's worth casting right now. All right, Blood Raid, find a permanent to get Clothus a creature. Uh, opponent just gives up. All right. Very good. All right, Scavenging Ooze out. It's absolutely horrible. Cinder Vines in. And Bone Crusher Giant out. It's also really bad here. And Force of Vigor in. All right. I do miss Collector Hoop in this matchup. So we got regular Tron. 
Is that that stupid Pog thing, Luke, man? The, they got rid of Gutex and put this Komodo Dragon thing or whatever the hell it's supposed to be? That's so lame. And you can still get this emote, and it's just its original emote, too. Again, this is an awkward-ass hand because it's all double red and stuff. Oh, yeah, Worm Coil is, like, huge. And you have a fast clock, and I don't have that right now, but you can't say no to something like this. You know? You just can't. I almost wonder if it's better to pillage. No, we need to see, try and save pillage. Just in case they need to blow up an artifact. Power plant. Okay, um, I, I do want to pillage here, because then the plan could be put Clothis in, and at least I can get double red still. Yeah, which is kind of interesting, because freedom of speech isn't really, you know, I mean, I know the Pog Champ guy from a long time ago. I used to be really into Street Fighter, and I knew Ryan Gutierrez, uh, Pog Champ guy, Gutex. And uh, it's really sad that, you know, I mean, this, this emote, this Komodo dragon is just not the same as the other one. The best emote, let me put it in. My favorite emote that hasn't been banned yet is this one. I enjoy that one a lot. Good old lol. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Um, so I can hit the Urza's tower, then bring in the power plant, and then... Yeah, I love that one maneuver, but that's my favorite one. It hasn't been banned yet. Uh, so we're obviously doing this. I think I like pillaging. The tower. Yeah, I know it doesn't apply. Wow! All right! <laughs> Don't take those. No, why that is an easy one there. Wow, opponent did not like that. All right. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't apply, and, you know, I, I think the problem is, is that people knee-jerk reaction too much. I'm a guy who has to help people at work sometimes who say uh, things that may be misconstrued as offensive and the most ridiculous one i've had to deal with personally was a guy was talking about the um what are they called little rascals the 1990 i believe it was made reba mcintyre's in it i remember watching it as a kid someone heard him talking about alfalfa and, and uh buckwheat you know those are the main characters the little rascals really and he got offended he said, oh my god, I can't believe they're talking about that. And he, I had to go in and explain that, you know, I never heard this before in my life, that those characters are offensive and derogatory. I've never heard this before in my life. Like, this movie's meant for children. That movie wasn't made like 1940. I mean, it was made in 1990 or something. And, and they eventually let the guy off the hook, you know, but they didn't have to. I mean, and that, just because I go in and talk to him and explain for, on the guy's behalf what's going on, you know, but I didn't thought it was absurd. I mean, the, the whole conversation that they said they heard had no, it was nothing offensive in it. There was nothing going on. It was just like, what's going on with society? What is this? A loot tree? All right, I'm probably gonna lose here, guys. I don't know what this is. So that's probably a loss. <clears throat> yeah. So loot tree here. Uh, what does this even do? When enters battlefield, you cast it. Copy target instant sorcery spell you control. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm looking. So I'm going to five. Is <laughs> so I keep this, I have to ship like Fury and Bloodbraid Elf. Am I going second? I am. I'll I'll go to four. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. <coughs> Man, 
Maybe not. Gotta keep all the land, I guess. Oh boy. Clovis or Pyro? Probably Pyro. I told you I saw Luge, we're not gonna lose. Really, I thought seats here. Oh no, it's just a Ragavan. All right, time to get destroyed here. Isn't it fun when you lost the game before the game even started because your deck refused to give you a functioning hand? I had no idea what this was going to be, by the way. The Lightning Bolt, I could really use that. He should just cast it on me. Because he's got some crazy plan. That's what it's all about right there. Oh, nice draw. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> That's true. What is the requirement? Each non-land card yeah, has a different name. <laughs> so yeah, they started with the they start with their one ragavan. <laughs> I forgot that was a requirement. I've literally only seen Lutri like this is probably like the third time I've seen this card. Oh, the spell pierce. You sons of bitches. Alright. Nope. God, I gotta go to like eight here. Takes Blood Moon, that's fine. Let's like top deck uh, Wooded Foothills. Is he thinking about playing Blood Moon? That'd be awesome if he did, that'd be helpful. No. Well, maybe he's fetching out of concern now. He's like, oh shit, there's a Blood Moon? Better fetch for my basic here. Nope, I was wrong. Haven't seen that card in a while either. He needs what, five? Five, okay. That's not good. All right, down to eight I go. Oh yeah, I, I used to play this card in Shadow. Remember how good this card is in Pioneer with the Inverter combo? Hella stupid. Nothing great off that. I'm at eight. This card is like really not very good anymore. Like you have to pay three. So you gotta just put it in your hand and just wait. I mean, it used to be, like, okay. Like, I thought that was an okay companion. Obviously, it was one of the weaker ones. What's the worst companion? The Ooze one, right? I don't think I've ever seen that one played. <sighs> Prismatic Ending. And Jace will transform. Absolutely disgusting. You get an emblem with whenever you're target opponent. Excellent. You get another basic forest. I don't know what the hell's going on out there. You hear a whole bunch of fucking noise and shit. He's going to counterspell that? Wow. Uh, yeah, no swing here. Just got to keep... <coughs> Try to stay alive. Yeah, Umori the Collector. Each non-line card shares a card type. 
That's pretty bad. Choose a card type, so it cost one less. Each non land card. So basically, that'd be all creatures or something, right? I assume it's going to die to this Jace. Let's see if this resolves. Why would that resolve? <laughs> Why would that resolve? But yeah, that, that card's really bad. I mean, it, it might be okay, like, you know, if it was a human creature. I hate how I can't read it. I have to go like this. Hard to put those five cards. Just a Fury be nice. Really surprised he's not swinging. Like, I have to lose on my token. I can't swing back at him. Great. More lands. I really appreciate that deck. Is it Colgan's Command? Yeah, well, here you can see I had top deck to land. Now I can start swinging with the Ragavan. I, I literally can't do anything. Oh, good job, deck. I really appreciate it. You did a real fine job making me mold of, what, four? Going to lose to this Rip Raff. Let's see what the Ragavan steals from me. Uh, I don't believe there's a reason to block. Well, I guess I can. I mean, why not? So he doesn't steal from me, right? So we need Fury. Fury! <coughs> or Bloodbraid Elf or even Season Pyro could be decent here. Um, Bone Crusher could work too, maybe. What happened? Oh, I got the Companion. It's just a basic forest, guys. I guess I should have let the Ragavan swing. If I was Psychic and I knew that, I would have been all about that. All right, time to die. I've been at eight life for like for like six turns, it feels like. But time to die now. Uh, deck has given up. Back-to-back -back land draws. I mean, they were that was the moment where I could have maybe started to push to try and come back, but unlikely. But uh, deck said no. Deck said, the fuck do you think you are? Why do you think that you deserve a chance to win? Why? Why? Why do you even do this anymore? And I always tell the deck, I don't know. I've clearly got some sort of severe, uh, you know, addiction to to pain and losing and 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 hurt. What's going on? He's you can only do this once, right? Yeah. So he's doing two serum visions. Okay. Okay, yes, he took another forest. All right, that was three lands on top. Four lands on top. Four lands on top. I'm not quite dead yet. And there's a season pyro. All right, very good. Round of applause for Gruel Ponds in mid range there. Mold a four and only get lands. How many lands was this? One, let's see, there's a, yeah, there's one exile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. Out of 21 cards. Woo! Good times ahead, folks. Um, I really don't have a lot for this guy. 
Uh, this just seems to be like some sort of hodgepodge. I think we need to have probably Endurance and Relic in. Pillage looks pretty bad. Uh, Blood Moon looks okay, honestly. But is it good enough to keep in at four copies? Maybe. Did seem like it would be pretty legit. Um, am I oversiding on Graveyard? Because the only Graveyard card we saw... I think I may be oversiding on Grave. So I'm going to try and take out... Just leave it like this. Because we only saw one Graveyard card, right? I guess calling in the command could be technically a graveyard card. I don't even know what to call this. It is just some sort of brew this guy's got that I'm probably going to lose to pretty bad. But it'll make him feel good, right? It'll make this guy feel really good when uh, he beats me. He'll be like, mm, I'm a good brewer. I love brewing. Especially decks that destroy red, green, mid range. Uh, yeah, I guess we go Season Pyro here, discarding the land and the bolt. I could get really greedy here and discard Fury and land. I mean, that's what I'll do. Fury land. Probably shouldn't have discarded that land, but, you know. What we do. Swing in for three. At least we know every card in his deck. He can't he can't have multiple ragavans. He can't have multiple um you know, Lightning Helixes, can't have multiple Jaces. Okay, Clothes is enough to get the guy to quit. Maybe he's starting to doubt his brewing proficiency. I think I like this. I just, I just don't know what I'm up against. I just don't have a clue. Um, I still like the Blood Moons. I think Pillage is too narrow. Considering what I'm here against. Uh, I don't want to bring in Plummet or Weather the Storm or Cinder Vines. <coughs> yeah, let's keep it going. I think we got enough graveyard hate, but we also need to have hate on the lands. Yep. This is what, just a Lutri brew? Is that what I'm going to call this thing? Lutri. Like a luchador. Now the only difference between a luchador and like a WWE, I almost said WWF, wrestler, is... Alright, there goes Blood Moon. It's the only thing you can take. Um, is they wear masks, right? As far as I know... Wow, that's a thought sees curse there. Uh, as far as I know... Lutri can use red. In Street Fighter 4, they had El Forte. He was a luchador, and he probably couldn't make him as a character anymore either. That character was made in 2008, and he's always yelling about burritos and stuff. Stang? Of course, we got a basic island. Uh, mountain here. 
Blood Moon here. Do I want to Fury this thing? No, I don't think so. It's not really that threatening right now. Maybe next turn. <laughs> Opponent writes, surely they won't draw Blood Moon. Told the opponent it's a thought sees curse that I have fallen victim to many times. I particularly hate it in paper. Uh, that's pretty good. It's one of lightning bolt he finds. Okay. Probably exile. I need to kill this thing. I can't let it transform. Probably exile Fury with Fury. I mean, if I can draw one more red source, it could be a pyro. This is only Jace Vin's priority. This card, when it first was announced, I remember people saying it was one of the worst cards they'd ever seen. Like, people thought it was terrible. People hated this card. And then it became one of those powerful cards. Like, it was good and modern up to, like, what, two years ago? I still think it's good. I'm sure you're scavenging ooze. Beat that, Jace. Got that loot tree. He needs, like, a bolt that he already used. All right, just swing in here. And then we'll devour both my creatures. It's a five, five ooze. Ah, oh, manure bud, that is a terrible story. <laughs> you were one of those guys, weren't you? That read it and you're like, this is terrible. Or you read all the hype, uh, the unhype reviews online. You're like, oh, this terrible mythic rare I pulled. Get the fuck out of here. You know, I'd like to maybe play one of the cards in my hand that isn't this Arbor Elf now. Yeah, I mean, it went insane. I, I don't know what it is anymore, but it, it was still expensive a couple years ago. Has it still only been printed once? I tell you what's expensive is... Um, <laughs> I tell you that the... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Well, at least the Fury can't kill the Ooze. Sure. But <clears throat> I don't know my worst. Oh, that's <laughs> you traded? That's hilarious. And he got the two hundred dollar Charizard. That's funny. Jace down to 10. What a fall from grace. Look at this, guys. Two pair here. Two pair. Unable to play anything. I'm just going to be sitting here waiting to, you know, I mean, I don't really want to trade with this Fury when I'm at such a high life lead. I guess we'll just sit here. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should have tried to trade with that Fury. I don't know. I just want to play one of these. Like, please, Lord.
Well, this is his only fury, right? I think I still want to try and, you know, draw a land or something. I mean, any land will work here except for a basic force, which even that will work because I can just play Blood Raid Elf. All right, there we go. We're ready now. Come on, Blood Braid. Another different scavenging ooze. Get in there. Hey, he's got a Snapcaster. And he's got a Lightning Bolt. I think we just lost. I think we just lost. Block here, bolt there. I guess I'm not dead yet. He can't really swing. Oh, he cakes out the big one. Okay, I gotcha. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I think I still like blocking here. I can't let him get more mana. All right, blood break number two. Come on, blood braid. Clothus, sure. Now we're just on blocking duty. He doesn't have any more removal spells. Okay, Soul Guide Lantern can only exile my opponent, my graveyard. I can't exile theirs, so that's okay. Draws a card anyway, sure. Arr! So shitty how you can't type back these guys. There we go. GG. Didn't work. Well, I almost lost to a Lutri Brew. So that can't be a good sign of uh, confidence with this deck, right, guys? I don't know. Maybe it is. That was pretty nuts. I lost game one as a mold of four. I gotta remember that. Maybe the deck's not as bad as I thought it was there. Well, that's pretty bad having a mold of four. I gotta say, my wife's making me spaghetti tonight. I'm pretty excited about that. Nothing like good old home cooking from the wife, you know? Uh, yeah. It's a curve. I still like keeping hands that are curves. One, two, three, four. This guy's got Lutri too? This looks like Murktide. Oh. Had a can of soup? Well, that's fulfilling. That's wholesome. Was it Campbell's? What was it? What brand? Was it Great Value Walmart? Okay, uh, tortellini, I don't know what my favorite pasta, like actual pasta is, I don't know, I have to look, I like bow ties, boom, mmm, Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Beef and barley. <laughs> there you go. But one on top, one on bottom. Wow. I really appreciate drawing all these lands, deck. I really do. Really tickles me pink. All right, let's see if he's got a counter spell now. Another different spell pierce. Who the fuck keeps a hand with two spell pierces in it? What the fuck? That's some bullshit. He takes another blood moon. That's fine. Did he target me? Yeah, he targeted me with that. Lord! I've only drawn lands. Well, we play the Blood Moon. He don't even care. It's like, whatever, bro. Spell Beer's become pretty popular lately. Yeah, it's mostly seen in Grix's Shadow. Good, he took another land. Wow, guys, that's five lands in a row I would have drawn. That's five lands in a row I would have drawn there. All right, now it's time to actually maybe do something here. Come on, Blood Braid. Scavenging ooze, that ain't half bad. Dude, this guy has so many counter spells. He's probably got an unholy heat now. I'm not swinging. Make him have the unholy heat. Yeah. Guys, how can you beat someone like this? How can you possibly win a game of Magic the Gathering when the first, the top five of your draws are going to be lands and the opponent counters everything? Like, what in the hell are you supposed to do? All right, there's another Blood Braid. Let's try this again. I have another Scavenging Ooze. I'm going to leave a green mana up. Utopia Sprawl. I'm glad I left the green mana up. Now I have extra mana. All right. Sure. Folks, I need Fury right now. He took another land. Another land! Holy shit! Oh my god! Guys, guys, let's take a look at these lands, all right? Let's take a good gander. Okay. So exiles two lands. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. Twelve lands. Twelve lands! User, I, what, what are we talking about here, Luke? Oh, oh, I see. How do I beat him? Yeah, I, I like staying out of jail. I don't like busting in people's house. Even though, apparently, in some cities, armed robbery, you don't even go to jail for anyone. They only try to do the crime. It's crazy. Like, wow, you can actually hold a man up at gunpoint and tell me give your wallet and the prosecutor won't prosecute? Like, what a great city. Let's go there for a nice dinner date, honey. Uh, yeah, pillage has got to come out. Endurance in, Relic in, uh, Blood Moons are really bad, and Plummet in. I'm assuming it's another Blue Red Delver. Just never saw the Murktide. I guess.
Targets himself. Must have a fetch land. All right, I'm ready for spell pierce this time. Oh, he didn't have it. Nice. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, what to do here? Kind of get Clothes out. It's kind of what I want to do. Pull this out, try to Blood Braid next turn. I really don't want to Fury Exile either one. Oh, I guess I can't take that red back. Uh, yeah, maybe it is best to exile. It's Fury, play Clothis. Hopefully that was right. I don't know if it was. I see that I have a pyromancer. <clears throat> Should I just be patient here? Or should I play the pyro? I think I like being patient, right? Maybe that's wrong. They get another Ragavan. I'm in a lot of trouble. All right. Probably a huge mistake there, right? Well, they can only come out as right now. If they put a, two more, come out as a. Well, I guess they don't have it because they're not doing anything. Another different Arbor Elf. I think I like doing the Arbor Elves here. That way we can. Um, Yeah, let's swing here. I'm sure. And then we'll do two Arbor Elves. And then during the during their upkeep, we'll exile everything with relic.
get a forest out of that. I mean, that's okay. I get to play Blood Raid Elf for sure. Okay, Blood Raid Elf it is. Come on, Blood Raid! That Relic where Janice? Okay. Alright, hold back the Arbor Elves. So many bolts. So many damn bolts. I'm keeping the R rails back just in case he hard casts. Um, you know. The uh, dude. That's seven. Um, this pyro here again? Lose my last plummet? I think we want to try and turn on Clothis, right? Guess we're not going to have the chance. Does not trade there. This is interesting. That's pretty good. It's a lot of fuel for uh, Clothis, though. That was a quality draw there. Blood Braid! Renin 6, yes please. All right. Good enough there. There, I actually got sideboard cards, so it was a lot better for me <laughs> compared to the first time. Let's just resubmit. Immediate scoop to the Ren and Six. No. Bro, I'm done. I like when people say bro, like bruh. Like, who came up with that? Who the hell decided that's what they're gonna do? Bruh. Alright, keep. Let's see what we got. Always start with them Ragavans. That's how we start the games. That's how we do. All right, now time to see if they have another spell pierce. Spell pierce. No, they didn't have it. All right. Woo woo. They let it go. All right. I'm going to have another Ragavan.
keeps a card on top, draws it. Uh, I guess I can bolt that. I guess we'll eat here. He didn't like that at all. I have my plummet ready. It's ready, folks. Okie doke. What a battle here. The things at eight mana. Was it seven mana? I don't remember. Uh, I think again during their upkeep, I'm just going to uh, maybe exile everything. Is that right? I guess so. Okay. Put out Clothis there, even there's nothing to eat, just put it out. Hmm. Maybe play Pyro here instead. Dress down, okay. Well, Pyro makes it out. Man, that is tough. Okay, we'll do this during their end phase. Get my sideboard cards, guys, making it interesting. Man, that is a lot of counter spells. Okay, hopefully Plummet can hold the line. Bolt me. It appears that a uh, Murktide is coming now. Will they have... Looks like they're holding up Counterspell here. It appears to be the case.
I guess we play Bloodbraid and try to cast Skade. <coughs> I don't know. Holy fuck, they didn't have it. Wow. Wow. And they draw a card. Holy moly. All right. That was a terrible draw. Come on, Blood Braid. Arbor Elf, sure. Swing on in. This is one hell of a game. Obnoxious. All right, maybe I can draw a land here. A land draw wouldn't be bad because it means I get to eat. Bolt? That's pretty damn good. I think during end step, I'm going to uh, bolt that. I don't want to get countered. Could be a Ragavan coming now, though. Yep. Why would it be anything else? I mean, they got to move fast here. It's a seasoned pyro. Are you fucking kidding me? That's absolutely disgusting. Okay, they gotta move here. Alright, there's a forest. All right, hopefully these pyro tokens can do some work. I still have one plummet left. Well. Oh! Whoop! Wow. All right, three and one, going for a four and one. That was edge of your seat action. I think it was still right for me to bolt that fury, by the way. Uh, that was a lot of damage I'd have to absorb. And then, you know, am I going to hold the, I mean, I, you know, I mean, what if, what a worst case scenario there, they're holding, like, let's say they had Ragavan in hand. That was, a, well, they had one card remaining in hand. And then, you know, they top deck a counter spell or something. Then I try to bolt during their... <clears throat> attack step and they just counter and then bold creatures come through so I, I think it's best I was so ahead in lifely that I didn't think Ragavan mattered but it was still a, I couldn't believe they had it all right here we go trying for the 4-1 Excuse me, I sneezed again. Looks like we're not going to get this opponent. Yeah, I am too, Luke. Um, 
I think that makes sense. The only one I don't know if it makes sense for is the Ragavan. Because if you try to bolt them, if you bolt them during your own turn, right? Like like I haven't been doing, right? Like you can spell pierced. Like, what if they have a second Ragavan? I mean, the idea is generally that they can't cast the second Ragavan, right? Because there's one already on the field. Maybe that's wrong. I mean it's the same results, I guess. Because if we if I bolt them on turn one and they play land dash. It's the same result. Because they still deal two damage, they steal a card and make a treasure. If they had a spell pierce, I guess they'd have one less mana up. I guess. If that's the route they want to go. So perhaps. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I've been wrong all along. All right. Luris. I think I'm going to keep this hand against Luris. I'm going to hedge that it's a uh, Grixis or Jund or something. Whatever it is, I think Bolts are pretty good to start out with. So let's see. They have the Fancy Luris, the Extended Art. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Looks like we got some Hammer Time action here. This hand's still not terrible against Hammer. Especially with that. Even though gonna, this is going to resolve before I can get that out. Um, yeah, like this. What's their plan here? Yeah, how many hammers do they have? They already have three. Be pretty intense. No swing there. Very suspicious. Very, very suspicious. I'll make a token here. Yes. Oh, I should have bolted again, I guess. God damn it. Why did I fuck up there? I knew I needed to do that, and I totally fucked up. Because I'm a worthless sack of shit. That's why I fucked up, because I'm a worthless sack of fucking shit. Nothing I can do. Just have to let it happen. That was so stupid of me. I'm dead. I'm 
completely dead. I need pillage. I don't deserve to win, and I'm a worthless sack of fucking shit that totally fucked up there, and I knew I needed to do that. Hammer time's too easy. Some of the dumbest motherfuckers I've ever met have, have been done really well with this deck. Like, thoughtless, brainless, heartless fucking deck. Um, it's really difficult for me to side, too. So I gotta bring these in. Clothes is pretty bad. Not a huge fan of Chandra in this matchup either. I probably would have died anyways. Even if I would have bolted the one. Gotta play better, that's all I can do. Just gotta play better and you know, think about reasons to continue playing. No. All right, we lost. I gotta go to five here to even find one land. All right. Is that on bottom? Fury on bottom. I would say I gotta play Cinder Vines. I could just say no here, too. I guess I. I guess we'll say yes. No, let him draw a card. Dead. Pretty close. Pretty close to dead. Such a fucking joke. That was a decent draw, but I think I'm still dead. I did. 
I did indeed. Wow. All right. I'm at three. Hmm. How do you beat decks that play this well? How do you do it, folks? I'd love to know. So basically we're just on block duty for the rest of the game. Did you use your uh, token? Wow, they have a shadow spear too. Okay, that's the end of the game. What a waste. What a waste. What a waste. GG, opponent. Ah, uh, you can't beat this deck when they run like that. Isn't that what Reed Duke did? You just copied Reed Duke? Look at them hearts. Always feeling good when I get hearts. Even though I feel like shit. Alright guys, let's open up the one treasure chest I got. I managed to go 3-2, and two, which is better than yesterday. Look at that, I got a Nyssa Genesis Mage. Look at that. And 15 points. I drafted, like, basically a mono-white, but it was kind of Orzhov, too. It wasn't very good. Um, I beat Burn, lost to Oko, lost to Burn. I mean, I play against two guys who just drafted mono-red. Mono-red Burn. And then I lost to Oko. I mean, uh, that, that's, it was good games, but the guy had turned to Oko. Like, two games in a row. I mean, you're not going to beat that. Um... But it was better today, guys. Three and two. Uh, we bookend with losses. Uh, losses to Blue Red Delver in round one. Lost to Hammer Time in uh, round five. Defeated Tron, some sort of Lutri uh, uh, brew, and a Blue Red Delver. So we got revenge on Blue Red Delver. Uh, not too much white mana today. I think I only got hit by it once today, maybe twice. Um, but. The deck, again, really struggled with opening hands. A lot of mulligans in there. Um, you know, opponents are unbeatable when they're unbeatable, right? Um, so, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. On to Tangle Wire? Wow. You don't say proliferate too much. Once in a while, you see the Yawgmoth do it. Um, I, I see Yawgmoth transition once in a while pro proliferate. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed today's content. It was a little bit better today, 3 and 2, 2 and 3 yesterday. Uh, if you watched on Twitch, just there following. If you watch on YouTube, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. You can also join me on Twitter. I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I don't know if I'm playing this Friday. I know I'm playing Wednesday, Thursday. Not sure about Friday. Thursday might start late because I have to go deal with an old man at one of my locals. Um, the old man likes to buy cards and uh, he takes about an hour. And uh, very slow, very decrepit, uh, but very, very nice most of the time. Um, 
So yeah, everybody, uh, hope you had fun. Uh, I tried my best. I messed up there against Hammer Time. It didn't matter. I would have lost anyways, even if I would have done it right. Because in the next turn, they had um, Stoneforge Mystic. Which Stoneforge Mystic now is worth 50 bucks a piece. I think the cheapest copy is $50. I mean, think about that. Think about how insane that is. Stoneforge Mystic at $50 a copy. The Abzan deck, if you're running four of those, that's a $200 deck right there. Absolutely insane and disturbing. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Everybody out there, stay safe. Um, eat some good food, drink some good beverages, and I will catch you all tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific time, for more Gruel Ponza action. Maybe we can get that 4 1. I'm happy yesterday. I went, uh, did I go 3 2 yesterday? No, no, I went 2 3. Duh. I went 3 2 yesterday. So, yeah, thank you guys very much. Really appreciate it, and I will catch you all tomorrow. All right, everybody, peace.